Hey guys, so today we have an empties video, which I don't do these a lot, mainly because I don't actually end up finishing products. Like I hit pan on a lot of products and I half finish a lot of products that I then give to my mum or stop using because I at that point buy something else I'm really excited about. So I end up just, you know, not using it. But there are quite a substantial amount of products here. A lot of them are skincare stuff because that's the stuff that I actually do get through because I don't buy that many um, compared to makeup. I don't buy that many. So we have a few things. And I'm gonna get into them. My Instagram, my TikTok, and my puppy's Instagram will be in the description down below, along with my drama channel now. Also subscribe, hit that bell. If you want my videos to get pushed out to a wider audience so that my channel grows, uh, leave a comment for engagement, because that's very important, and hit that bell. And I think that's all I'm gonna ask of you guys for today. So let's get into it. What do we have here? I'm just gonna go as they're laid out. If you can hear my puppy playing with a toy, I give her one of those like food toys that you like hide food and they have to look for it, because otherwise she will not leave me alone. So she is currently looking for treats. I used up another one of those glossy milky jelly cleansers. I always get them whenever I have some kind of like credit to use or whatever it is that I have to use. I get these in sets. You, you, a lot, the thing with Glossier is they have sets pre-made which make you save money. So if you want a product that is also kind of like in a set with another product and you want both of those products, I'm like sprinkling water around, uh, then you might as well get the sets and then you get a big discount. I like this as just my second cleanser. I do like a balm cleanser and then I go in with something like this. And this is very gentle, but this does not take makeup off on its own. At least not when you wear this kind of a face. So this is just very like nice and not stripping and it doesn't leave my face feeling tight and dry. So I do like this one. Um, I kind of rotate between different cleansers. I don't have like a favorite that I use. But this one is really nice actually. I recently finished my Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer. Which I mean it looks like it, there's stuff in there but there's I literally could not get anywhere out. I would like unscrew it and like tap it on my hand. That's how obsessed with this I am. I love the smell of it. I know people say fragrance something something your skin i have pretty sensitive skin and it never does like this kind of fragrance break me out i think this is like not strong enough where it irritates me i think a lot of fragrance products they don't irritate my face but they irritate my nose and then they give me a migraine so this is not fragranced enough to where it does that and i love the smell of watermelon in different products so i'm obsessed with this range i want everything from it i just enjoyed this face cream i don't think it was heavy i think it was like one of those like gel type moisturizers that if you have super dry skin this might not do it for you but if you just want like a light Moisturizer that you put on in the morning before makeup. I have no complaints. For something a little more expensive, I used up my Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant. I used to be obsessed with this. I still will buy it every now and then if I feel like, oh, like let me just treat myself. But um, I feel like I found other moisturizers that also do a very similar job. I do understand this has like special ingredients that do like, you know, futuristic stuff but um at the end of the day i want my moisturizers to just moisturize really well and this does that but then i did find other like cheap alternatives that also do that so you know you have to like weigh up is this worth the money for you is it not i know drunk elephant has like a cult following and i do get it sometimes there are some products from drunk elephant that i will not substitute for anything else i love the vitamin c and i love the glycolic night serum i like the retinol those are some products i'm just like they work for me and i'm not going to substitute them and they last me ages Face cream, I don't know if you need it from Drunk Elephant to, for it to do the thing that it's supposed to do. Glossier Super Pure Nine Cinnamide and Zinc Serum. I love this thing. It's super lightweight. It literally feels like you're just putting water on your face and I buy this in sets as well. And I give the vitamin C and the moisturizing one to my mum and then I keep the Nine Cinnamide one and I just go through these bottles like water. I have the Hourglass Veil Setting Spray, which I used up, which was very expensive. I think I got this on a 20% off sale and it was still just under £40. I think this is normally like almost 50 Definitely not worth the price tag. The spray was a bit uneven. It would like spray kind of wonky, uh, so you never really knew where you were getting a lot of the spraying. It says soft focus and I don't think it did any of that. I don't think it blurred or hydrated or ma made my makeup last any longer. I think it was just like a nice mist to take away some of the dustiness of your face and that was about all it did and if I'm gonna pay 50 pounds for a setting spray I want it to do a little bit more magic than this. Uh, I don't think this was a bad setting spray by any means. I don't think it's bad. It never really did anything that infuriated me. I just wish this was like, like I do get that Hourglass is an expensive brand but like 30 would have been acceptable from a high-end brand. 50 you're really pushing it and I just don't understand why. Anyway, that was my opinion on that. I used up the KVD Lash Primer and I really love this. I'm probably gonna repurchase it when I remember to do so and when I find other things to buy. Uh, Cause it's not easy to find KVD in the UK. It's like specific shops that I don't ever really go to. So this was really nice though. It like was a primer that wasn't white, but like this whole thing broke apart for me. So I had to like open this and then unscrew that and it was uncomfortable to use. Anyway, this had like a graphite -y 
color like it wasn't super white pale or anything so it didn't really take much to cover it up sometimes i felt like towards <laughs> this dried up very quickly so it clumped up very quickly so this dried i don't know probably like a month after using it ended up kind of not working with a lot of mascaras if they were also dry because then it just wouldn't coat the lashes properly so i think this is nice if you then hydrate it or you change it up very regularly but for yeah i think it's nice but it's like a very short term nice so i'm just wondering if i want to repurchase it or not it's still a good product don't get me wrong but it's like it didn't last as long as i probably wanted it to i don't know i used up the butter bronzer from physicians formula done and dusted i love it i loved this bronzer it was so good i love the smell of it i know it infuriates some people i like it um i loved the shade for me i liked the way it blended i liked the way it looked on the skin i liked the way it made me look not dead i liked everything about this i'm not going to repurchase it for a while because i have a lot of bronzers to get through and bronzers aren't and bronzers are actually not my favorite thing to buy I, I like to buy blushes and highlights before i buy a bronzer because i think they just kind of usually work the same way like if they're not bad they're good that's about it for bronzers <laughs> I used up the Pat McGrath Labs powder, the under eye powder. I had it in the shade light. It's all like, you can't even tell what brand this is. You can't tell what it is. But I used it up completely. And I mean, there's probably like some like one use in there. But yeah, anyway, this was a really nice powder. I really enjoyed it. And if I'll be putting down an order, if, if Pat McGrath has some kind of a sale, I'll probably get this. But I have a lot of powders to get through. So I'll wait with that one. Hopefully she won't have a sale anytime soon because I'll be tempted. But she has a lot of sales recently, which is really strange for such a luxurious brand because it's supposed to have like the exclusivity and that's usually what luxurious brands do. They'll be like, no, no sales. Uh, but Pyrograph puts sales all the time and I love it. I'm like, please give me all the sales. I also used up the Glossier Stretch Concealer in G11. I This is, I think, my second or third one that I've used up. It's scraped clean. I love this concealer. You guys know how much I love it. It's one of my favorite concealers, if not my favorite concealer to exist uh, but it's for like specific looks you know you can't do like well i do use it for full coverage makeup but it tends to be like a more but it tends to be like a more natural makeup day when you use the stretch concealer i also used up the briogeo don't despair repair deep conditioning mask i think this is really nice actually i used this up ages ago like i said i've been collecting these empties for months at this point months i tell you phoebe you're gonna fall are you sniffing the briogeo here you go your ears flipped out Hello, you're so big. You're so big. Say hello to people and go, okay, baby. You're so cute. Are you gonna sit there? I've been, I think I used this up a while ago, but from what I remember, it made my hair look really nice. I have no complaints about this. I think it's just like a nice mask. I didn't really keep it on for as long as they wanted me to. I think they said like 10 to 20 minutes. I was like five minutes and I'm out. I'm sorry. That's all I can give you at this point. Anyway, I think this whole range is really nice. I didn't really try anything else from Briogeo. I only tried the Don't Despair Repair stuff. And so far, I think it's it's a nice brand. It's kind of expensive, but I think I got it on a Black Friday sale. So that's how long ago this was, Black Friday. Then... <laughs> Phoebe, do you want to admit to what you've done? Because you just tried to do it again. She literally just tried to do it again. So I went through two beauty sponges this month. Um, I'm on my third one now. She's literally trying to get into my hand because this is what Phoebe does. Whenever I do my makeup on the bed, which is, I, I do this a lot now because I have my TV and I like to just, because I have my TV and I like to watch stuff while I, you know, look at her. She's obsessed with these. Uh, I watch stuff while I'm doing my makeup. Oh, Phoebe. And this is how they've now ended up. I tried to save these, obviously, like I, uh, but, you know, I would have maybe saved these if she like put them in her mouth, which is what she did with the one I have now. She like put it in her mouth, ran off and I caught her before she could like chew into it. But these are just unsavable. Like there is really nothing I can do with these. This is how this one ended up. And this is how this one ended up. They're both the Colourpop sponges from the like uh, full beat collection. This is the Hourglass and this is the Complexion sponge, maybe. I think this is what it's called. And yeah, I bought a whole new full beat set and I bought an Hourglass sponge because that's the only one they had in stock that was like separate and I, they didn't have the full beat one in stock. And then I got it later on in a different... So I have a lot. I have a lot of sponges. I have the one I'm using now and then obviously all of the new ones. But I'm hoping she doesn't get to any more of these because this shouldn't have been in the empties that quickly. But <laughs> here we are. I remembered I had this Kylie concealer, which actually looks like I used up quite a lot of it. I don't know if you can tell. Like I used up quite a bit of it because I got this maybe like two years ago. I started using it and it stinks of paint. That is expired and i don't know why i smelt this and still thought i could put it into a project pan and try to use it up after three uses i was like i am probably going to get some kind of a skin infection i'm going to not do that not use expired makeup this has been open for two years way past whatever uh, deadline 12 months 12 months after opening you should be keeping this anyway i'm throwing this out 
it's in my empties. My favorite thing, uh, Glossier Bubble Wrap Eye and Lip Cream, Pumping Cream, I guess. I use this under my eyes. I tried the Drunk Elephant Eye Cream for like 60 pounds and then I went back to this baby. I just really like it. I feel like it nicely plumps under my eyes where it looks like I'm more awake and I feel like my under eyes are moisturized and hydrated and just plump. So I just keep on repurchasing this one. I like it. I buy it with the sets to get some kind of a discount and then yeah, that's it. Another thing she did, my little munchkin. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I was almost done with this. And I'm glad she didn't eat it because that I'm glad I was almost done with it because otherwise she would have eaten it. My Glossier, let me read in between the bite marks, coconutbalm.com universal skin salve. I was using this on my lips and I stopped using this on my lips because as you can see, it's missing some of its top bit. I think I only had about this much left here just on this bottom bit. So I'm just throwing it out. Um, I kept it in my empties because I was like, I th I want to show you guys the damage that she is doing to my makeup collection. I guess I'm getting through my empties quicker now. Uh, I'm on my another one. Um, I had two open at the same time. So the other one is like halfway finished. And I think it's the mango one. So yeah, I have the mango one. And then I have two more unopened ones because I love these. I love these and you can get them in a set of three. It's kind of overpriced for what it is, but the scents are amazing, like intoxicating, so good. So I just buy them in sets and then yeah, it takes ages to get through them as well. They're huge for just using them on the lips. If you use them on your skin, you might go through them quicker, but I just use them on my lips or any like dry patches I have. So that's that. I also tried one of these. These are the Glossier like body product. So this is the Body Hero, like a daily oil wash. I got this for winter now. I remembered why I got this. I got this for winter because it's an oil wash. So it actually comes out as like an oil and then it foams up and it foams up less than like a usual lathering shower gel. And because it's an oil, it actually nourishes your skin while you're like washing yourself. So you don't come out so tight and dr like dry, uh, which is my problem in the winter time. Like even before, like I'll leave, start towel drying myself and I'm already dry and crusty and then I have to like lotion myself and then I'm still dry and crusty. So I bought this. Um, I don't like the scent. It smells like very basic bar of soap, like an old school bar of soap. I don't know if it's just like an Eastern European thing, but like Eastern European bar of soap, not like Dove or anything kind of like special, just like a, like a very cheap bar of soap is what this smells like. And it's just not my favorite scent. I feel like it, it's got like a very weird, weird vibe to it. Anyway, they described the scent very differently on the website. Then I went through a Drunk Elephant Sweet Pity Deodorant Cream. I like natural deodorants. They make me feel nice and they smell nice. And this one smells like marzipan. It's like an almond thing in it. I really like this. Uh, it soothes and deodorizes, I think so. Um, people complain about the packaging. Now let me just, if you get this, let me teach you something that they don't teach you. So what people say is like, you roll this up and too much comes out and then they don't do that. They, they they go in like this and then they have too much product they have to let it dry. Why would you do that? Anyway, what I do is I treat this like lotion. I squeeze a little bit out. I could do like a little spin and then I pick it up on my fingers and I rub it between my fingers and then I put it on my armpits and then you get the perfect amount. You're welcome. This is actually a really nice product from Drunk Elephant. I don't know about you guys and your deodorant journey, but natural deodorants never really made me stink. I guess I just don't sweat as much or I sweat, but it doesn't like smell. So I used this one and the native one, which I actually finished this one as well. I bought a three pack. Don't know where the third one went, but I gave one to my mom and I used up this one. So that's, that's where we're at with these two. I love this smell. This is my favorite one. It's coconut and vanilla. If you get this one, you're welcome. And then this one smells like marzipan, also very sweet and nice. And I just, both of them work for me. They don't make me stink and they don't make my armpits feel irritated or dry, mainly because I shave under my armpits. So obviously if you use regular deodorants, they tend to make you sting if you like cut yourself a little bit. These, they probably say don't put on broken skin, but when you do, let me just tell you now, they don't sting. So that's really good. I like them for the like amount of products you get. You get to like test out mascaras without having to commit to one for three months. But if you do this, perfect, right? And then you do the other eye. If you do this, it's bad because you're like touching your, your nose with this. If you do this, I just don't like it because it like, oh, it's just not my favorite way to use mascara. Travel size mascara is just, I don't like the short wand. Um, so this I was happy to get rid of. But the mascara itself is really good. Like the formula is really nice. It's just the travel size packaging that's just not doing it for me. I used up a glossy Wowder in G11, G12. I love this powder. I think it just blurs really nicely. It doesn't leave your face looking cakey and it sets it in a very natural way. If you're looking for full bake, this is not it. But if you're looking for just like a light dusting of powder, really nice, very nice product. Um, I cut open these like mesh thing because I was trying to get the rest of it. And I did get the rest of it. It's finished. I used up one of these. I get a lot of like 
samples from buying makeup and i get a lot of like you know um if you spend 100 you get like this gift bag worth 150 and it never is this is a deep cleansing oil it's basically like a balm but just in oil form and you uh obviously put it between your fingers you like start rubbing on your face and then you emulsify it with water and then you do a second cleanse that's what this was it worked decently well it's from a brand called dhc and it's a deep cleansing oil it worked relatively well i just don't know how much it costs full size it was a sample it was a travel size I think balms are very, like, it. Ju it's just there to take off your makeup. As long as it feels comfortable on your face, you don't really need to do much else with it. I actually really like this one. I'm using the Glow Recipe one now, and these are roughly the same price. This is the Drunk Elephant Sly Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser. What I've realised is this is actually very cheap com uh, compared to other Drunk Elephant products. This is actually on par with many balm cleansers, even the ones you get in drugstore drugstores this is 110 grams for i think it was like 28 pounds and this lasts you ages because you don't really use that much you use about like a like a coin amount i think it works really well it emulsifies just the way i like that's what i want but yeah once again it's not like a very specific product that you have to like specifically pick for your skin type it's more just like does it take off your makeup does it not break you out does it come off easily does it take off, like does it work well with your other cleansers and your other products yeah sure then just it works Stick with it. I used up the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturiser, which took me ages to use up, and I'm happy to say it's gone. Not because I don't like it, but just because I was bored of using the same one over and over again. I used up the Pat McGrath Fetishize Mascara, which is a really nice mascara. It's got a nice formula. It's not too wet, not too dry. It's got a nice wand. Uh, I like the fibery ones, not the plastic ones, because they poke me in the eye and they never do what I want them to do. Oh, this is dry. Cause you can't even open it. I put this in here ages ago. Anyway, yeah. Oh, that's a, that's a funky wand. Let me just try and fix this for you. This is how dry the mascara is at this point. Okay. It's a little bit... Okay, it still looks janky. Anyway, it's like a very fluffy wand. I really like this mascara. They came out with a new one, but I haven't tried that one yet. And yeah, I want to try it out. But this one's really nice if you wanted to try it. I used up the Colourpop Brow Boss pencil in taupe a really nice affordable pencil why was i ever buying abh brow wizards for 20 pounds when i could buy this one for under 10 a scam <laughs> i'm joking abh is not scamming me i chose to do that but anyway this works really well it's basically the same as brow is it's one of those like skinny tips the shade was really nice for me and i just really enjoyed it but they don't have these in stock ever why does colourpop release new launches and never restock their old classic stuff as a brand, what you should have in stock is brow products and complexion products, always. So that people can buy their favourite products and not have to wait or stock up. Like the moment a restock happens, everyone buys like 10. Because they're like, ah, oh, we know this is going to sell out for the next few months. And I'm going to have to do that soon. For Black Friday, I was able to secure, I think, one brow pencil. And it was the last one and it was in the shade Blonde. And it looks fine, but I wanted taupe. And it wasn't there. I also used up a Brow Boss Gel in Blonde. I love these affordable and they work really well comparable to kind of like you know boy brow and all of those kind of brow gels um i like this one because it's a lot lighter than boy brow this is boy brow and it looks quite deep i used to match up my eyebrows obviously my eyebrows are naturally deeper than my hair but i don't like to emphasize that anymore now because i find i find it just my eyebrows just stick out weird you know they just like they stand out so i'm finishing up my boy brow but it's not the shade i want i'm gonna try boy brow in blonde um, and see how that goes because this one in blonde worked really well. I felt like it didn't emphasize my brows too much. It was just subtle. I used up my Kylie Forever and Always pencil, the lip pencil. It's my favorite shade. Um, I love this. I also used up a Glow Recipe watermelon like lip pop. They have one in blueberry now, I think. And anyway, what I did to this is I scraped it clean. Like, you know, when you like supposed to twist it up? Yeah, I. I went inside of there like all of that was like it didn't come out so i just scraped it all out because that's how much i like this it does the whole ph thing that i hate because it makes my lips look hot pink but i wore it around the house and it really did nourish my lips during winter time and it had little balls in it uh, that would like exfoliate your lips and i think this has salicylic acid in it as well i really liked this i love the smell of it because it's watermelon but i would not wear this out and about because it made me look wild like it looked like i just ate a lollipop and it just went all around my lips and the last thing is a, an actual used up beauty blender well complete like sponge from colourpop this is the detail one this is my favorite shape they have and this one didn't get eaten it was just time for it to go and that's it for my empties video if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up comment down below anything you want to comment down below and subscribe to the videos every time i think of something to do save that bell be notified when that's happening social media links any other links in the description i'll see you in my next one bye guys